All right, the rivalry between Pika and Runway is heating up and I love it because it's giving creators a lot more opportunities to have control over the things that they create with generative AI. They both just released camera movements. Yesterday on their Discord server, Pika announced these camera control parameters. So you can say dash camera at the end of your prompt and then tell it what you want it to do. So you can zoom in, out, you can pan up, down, left, right. You can combine some of them. So you can combine camera pan up, right. Um, and then you can do these clockwise. So you can do clockwise, counterclockwise, and anti-clockwise. If you're wondering what the difference is between counterclockwise and anti-clockwise, one is US, one is British. So you can also adjust the motion if you didn't know that, the amount of intensity of the motion. Um, I used four for this sample that you're gonna do because I wanted to see the most motion that it could do. Um, and then this is kind of a cool update. They've just automatically included 24 frames per second. So then seven hours ago, Runway dropped director mode. So this is a little bit more of a user-friendly interface where you can decide which ways you want the camera to move. And you can combine, I think up to three of them. It doesn't let me do this uh, roll if I combine all of these other ones. Um, but then you can also have the intensity slider. Here you get up to 10, it goes down from zero to 10 and Pika it's zero to four. All right, this is the image I'm gonna use. I generated this in mid journey. It's um, just a picture of the Louvre. I don't know why I chose that, but I just thought it would be interesting to have a wide shot of something. Um, and it turns out it was a good one because there's a three dimensional object here, which is gonna be helpful for um, some of these camera movements that we're gonna see in a second. So in Pika, let's just look at like, this is what the zoom in looks like. I like it. It's very linear, if you know what I mean. There's no easing sometimes um, if you've done motion before you like to have it ease in or ease out. Um, so there's none of that, it's very um, straight, but pretty good. This is the zoom out. One thing I like about this is you'll notice the clouds move a little bit, like they parallax, I think is the word for that a little bit, which looks nice. Panning down, the reflections look good. It looks like there's people moving over here now too. I kind of noticed that a little bit. I didn't even pick up that there were people over there, but on this pan down, I can kind of see people moving around over there. This is pan up and to the right. I like that we're getting to this light source. That's kind of interesting. So it knows that the sun is over there and it's actually gonna show us the sun. It looks like there's two, it looks like there's two suns, like there's this one and then is there this one behind the cloud? The fact that it knows that there's a light source over there is really interesting. This is a little bit funky. I mean, I understand why this is a really complicated pattern, but um, that the rooms here are definitely a strange giveaway. Um, and it kind of like, you know, obviously the pyramid does a little bit of wobble there too. All right, let's look at pan up and to the left. Interesting that it did, it changed this in a different way though, but it did a little bit better. It just kind of turned it into a different building on that one and more blue sky. It catches the reflection there too, which is nice. This is pan down and to the right. This is good. It doesn't, it doesn't really know what to do below. Like it almost looks like there's a pit or something down there. Maybe there is, I don't know. I haven't read the Da Vinci Code in a while. Just so-so. And this is pan down to the left. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting little, so we get a little puddle here with a cloud reflection. That's pretty cool. All right, let's do uh, counterclockwise. I think this is a pretty cool, I don't, I mean, this isn't the right image for this, but this is a cool effect. Someone is gonna be doing some cool stuff with this for sure. It's It's got a very, I don't know, like inception kind of vibe to it. And this is anti-clockwise. This is, I really like this shot. It's kind of going around. In, in the counterclockwise one, I know I think they're technically the same thing, but in this one, it looks like it's just turning it, like the camera's just rotating. In this one, it looks like the camera is moving forward around the pyramid. I can see how you would have like a subject here and you'd want to pan around them. This could be really cool too. And here is clockwise, so going the other direction. And it's interesting that it turned this building into a tree. Um, so I'm not sure why it did that, but it's it was consistent. At least the reflection is also a tree there too. Let's see how Runway does with this. All right, so with Runway, you go to their website, you go to Gen 2. Um, I'm gonna choose an image, I click motion, and I don't see those options there. You have to click this custom camera control, which it says it's in beta. But click the custom camera control. I'm gonna upload my file. All right, so let's just do these in the same order. So for this one, we're gonna zoom in. And I'm not doing any sort of text prompt with this. I didn't do that with Pika either. I'm just doing the motion, um, the motion parameter. 
So starting with the same image and we're gonna zoom in with runway. And one thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna test the slider. So I used Pika at four, which is their maximum. I'm gonna try, um, I, I used the default five and then I'm gonna test it against the maximum 10 before I do the rest of them. I feel like that's not right. That is not what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna dial the motion way down on this one. So so for runway, I don't I don't like what it's doing there. It's adding a little too much motion. I'm gonna take the speed down to three. All right, let's just let's just do the other ones. This is this could be interesting. So we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go down, up and to the right, up and to the left, down and to the right, down and to the left. All right, let's roll it clockwise, roll it counterclockwise. And then I liked that one where it was moving forward and rotating. So let's do a counterclockwise and a zoom in. And let's see how that compares to the Pika one. All right, that's, I mean, that is clearly too much motion. I don't think anyone would say, yeah, that's, that's what we're going for. So there's a, a lot of movement in here. I will say that, like, look at the cloud. So there's a lot of cloud movement, there's sky movement, this is great, but it really destroyed the image. So if I, I, I wanted this, but it just completely flattened it to a different kind of pyramid, um, way too much movement. And it's a little better, the, the clouds like really, it, it feels like a time lapse because of how quickly these clouds come in. Um, no idea what's going on there. So like, oh, what? That was like, so this first part is great. Like this was kind of nice. There's a nice thing. There's no movement, but then it does this. I have no idea what it's doing there. Okay, that's great. A lot of, lot of motion, <laughs> right? You can see the clouds are reflected in the wet sidewalk there. This gets wobbly. It got wobbly in Pika too. It's a little bit more, maybe a little more wobbly. Um, the integrity of this building is better. You'll notice it kind of, it changes, but it doesn't have the, just a bunch of random doors moving. Um, so it just added a building there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, all the thing is, this all cost me credits. This was money. Oh, this is nice. All right, that's okay. This is their rotate is the best one so far. I don't know what this thing is coming over here, but like that's a good little. That's like a weird little kind of thing. Again, it just is completely ignoring. It's ignoring the prompt. You know, I I know people get amazing results from <laughs> runway, um, but there's like a minivan or something in there and i don't know what's going on but it just decided it didn't want to use my image anymore and and created something else all right fine i'm going to i'm going to do one more i'm going to give runway the benefit of the doubt here i think the problem is it can't really tell what that image is and so what i'm going to do is give them the benefit of the doubt and do an image plus description and so my original prompt in mid journey was view outside the louvre in paris and so now i'm going to say zooming in um, outside the louvre in paris so and i click this zoom in button and so it should know what we're dealing with here i'm hoping let's see oh and let's do the speed i'm just going to knock it down because it was really a lot, let's just go to three, how about? Right, here's the last one, let's see. All right, so that seemed to work a little bit better. If I were gonna do this again, what I would do is if I were using Runway, I would make sure that I have a text prompt with my image if I was using camera movements. Um, it might just be that it didn't know what to do with this particular image. It was a much closer match to what I was looking for. All right, so there you have it. So. To be completely fair and transparent to Runway, because they have amazing videos, I love their stuff. I want to be very clear, I love Pika, I love Runway. I just blew through a lot of credits for some really bad footage, so I'm not excited about that. But to be fair, it's in beta. It has a little label next to it that says in beta. So this is still 
um, in process. If I were you, I would um, maybe play around with like one clip at a time and see like what what's working, what's not. Having said that, Pika is still free. All of the experimenting that you might need to do to get the result you want is free still. And the fact that I have to do a lot of experimenting like with text prompts and stuff and I'm getting charged credits for every generation um, is a little, you know, I think that's going to limit the people who can use the tool. So it's going to require you to, you know, shell out more money for credits. Um, and I know Pika is eventually going to go that route too. Everyone is going to go that route, paid route eventually. That's what I love about right now. Things are free, but they won't always be free. I feel lucky to be in a situation where I can blow through a few credits to be able to make videos like this um, because it's interesting to me and I want to be able to help people make decisions about what are the best tools to use to create the kinds of movies that they want to create. Last time it was kind of clear that there was a trade-off between what you would get for Pika versus Runway. And now, in my opinion, Pika has um, you know the same level of quality to the eye, to the naked eye, not necessarily the specs, but that it looks the same. But the camera motion actually does what you're asking it to do. You can be more deliberate. Runway seemed to have the early lead in this by a huge margin. And right now it's like, I don't know, it's <laughs> Pika is taking the lead clearly taking the lead. We're still in the very early days. I know this isn't over yet. It's going to be exciting to see where this goes next. If you come up with something cool or some other insights that I have missed, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I've got some more videos, so why don't you watch some of those too?